Hi, I'm Sharon. And I'm Gary. And we're Rough Road RV Life. We like looking at freedom. Yes, we do. And freedom has brought us to Burns, Oregon. RV park. This is a private campground. Yes, and it was um, very easy to get to. Uh, we we had come up north from Winnemucca, so 95 to 78, I believe it was, and pulled into Burns RV Park yeah, for a couple of nights. And this is a good sand park. Uh, you'll find it has 30, 50 amp service. It has showers, toilets, um, water, sewer, very Wi-Fi. Uh, cable hookup. Very clean laundry room. Yes. Excellent. Spotless. You'll also find there an espresso bar mm -hmm. and you can buy wine and beer locally. What do you call it? Uh, Microbreweries. Micro yeah, micro beers, local yeah. beers. Yeah. And local wines. And they also have Dole Whip. Which is very very good. We went back twice, and if you've ever been to a Disney World or Disney, what's it, Walt Disneyland? Disneyland or Disney, Disney World, World, it's Hawaiian Dole Whip. Whip. And here we are, enjoying a Dole Whip. Mm. Good stuff. Yeah, and it's very good. Yes, it is. It's a it's a pineapple whip of some sort. Right. It's very good. They, in, in their little store, they also sell some some very little grocery items. They have some RV fix-it-up stuff if you need mm -hmm. something. They sell propane out front. So it, it's, a, it's a nice little store. And I will say the owners are very nice and accommodating. They were just a delight to talk to. Oh, yeah, to. very friendly. And this is the first time. Now, we came from Florida, and this was the first park that offered us maps and information about the different states we were going to or different places. So I went out with a, a load of uh, state maps, like Montana and Washington and Oregon. So that was helpful. Yeah, and the, and the, the sites that you on, they're gravel, back end gravel sites are level. Um, the area surrounding is nice thick grass. Trees. And trees and, trees. and, and like that. and, and for me, every now and then it's nice to get out on the grass when you've been backing into, you know, uh, woods and roots and pine bark and all, you know, the burrs and pokey and, things, you know, and dirt, mud, <laughs> whatever things. else you might back yeah. into in, in other types of land or, or campsites. But uh, the, the nice thick grass, uh, take your shoes off and let the old grass wiggle up through your toes. It feels pretty good. Uh, I know our dogs like romping in the grass mm -hmm. a little bit. Although they do like walking on the trails. Yes, and speaking of dogs, they do have a, you know, what's like two loops. It's a, not a, anyway, there's not a lot of room to give your dog a very long walk. Our dogs, we like to do, you know, one to two miles at a pop. And the, of course, not all campgrounds are going to allow for that. So. We, you have to get creative, maybe go around twice, or we headed down the road. There are some quiet country roads around there, and so we just walked down the side of the road. Sometimes it's nice when there's a quiet road beside the campground, where there's not a lot of places to walk your dog, although this one has grass. We're most happy about that. Yeah, one of the side roads we walked down to, lo and behold, we came across the a yard full of um, llamas, or were they alpacas? Alpacas. I don't know. I looked them up. Yes, the ears did. are different, but I don't remember what the ears look like. They were like, one so. or the other. They were the llamas or alpacas. Long and, neck. Yeah, and we face. have two medium sized dogs. They're 55 pounds. And when they came across the llamas, they just bolted straight up in the, in the road and stood there and stared at them <laughs> like, what in the heck is that? We have never seen that. We've seen right. deer and other stuff, but we don't know what that is. Yeah, it was. It was quite comical. Yeah. That, that's another whole, uh, our, most of our adventures happen while we're walking the dogs. Yeah. 
It's incredible. They see a rock, a leaf, a feather, um, an alpaca or llama, whatever it was. Yeah. So eat Mormon crickets. Man, yeah, just they just, they're loads just, of fun. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so we also saw a deer on that walk. So anyway, if you have dogs, if you have a smaller dog or if your dog doesn't require as much activity, our dogs are still fairly young. You know, the campground is more than enough to walk your dog around. Right. But, a, but if you have a larger dog or a dog that needs a little bit more, you know, there, there's a couple of quiet roads you can walk yeah. on. Yeah. And we stayed there from July 2nd to July 4th, uh, 2019. So if you want to frame a reference. Mm hmm those, that was the month that we were, that this video is taking place in. Um, it was clear. It was sunny. Uh, we had 45 degrees and 70s in the weather. It was a little breezy at times. So um, they have some activities there at the camp. They got volleyball, croquet. They got ladder ball, horseshoes. Mm -hmm. um, we've already talked about the the store they have there. So and we noticed that a lot of people were just coming in for the night, like right. like we see. A lot in the in um, some of the parks that we've stayed at, so the park would fill up and then morning it empty out. It empty out. We stayed a couple of days. We kind of like to check out the area whenever we are in an area, so we did do a couple of field trips. Yes, we did. <laughs> and the city of Burns is not far away. Um, they have, you know, if you need to to get some supplies, it's not a big town, but it probably has enough to get what you want. Yeah. But the uh, the field trips we went to, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> these are mouthfuls. We went to Malheur National Wildlife Refuge. M-A-L-H-E-U-R. Yes, and Malheur, I know we looked up the pronunciation, yeah, so well. we're just going to butcher these and just... In the car heading to Mohir, Mohir, okay, we've got to check that pronunciation. So cool. Malheur National Wildlife Refuge Preserve. I think I said that right. Let's Go keep with going. It. Yeah. Um, we took the High Desert Discovery Scenic Byway to get there. It is a 127 mile um, byway. Of course, we didn't go 127 no. miles. We just went from Burns to the refuge. Which I think was about 30 miles. Yeah, I think it was about like 30. 30 very, miles. very pretty, peaceful. Had one up. Yeah. And um, the refuge is very pretty, but it is full of mosquitoes. Yeah. Mosquitoes that will chase you and make you walk very fast to keep away Our from windshield them. was covered. Our side yeah. windows were covered. They were out in full force. Right. So we, we wanted to drive around and do a couple of hikes in the refuge, but um, the road was gravel and very bumpy gravel. Yeah. And with the mosquitoes, we just hung around the visitor center area and only went up a little bit. Yeah. So um, I don't know if they have a season where they're not as I don't know. mosquito -y. And we're no mosquito whips. We come no, from Florida. No, we come from Florida, but the mosquitoes but won that day. They won that day. Yes. Yeah. We were glad we didn't have the dogs with us. Okay. Just came up the Auto Overlook Trail, and I see we could have just driven here. <laughs> anyway, I went fast because mosquitoes are eating me alive. I don't have bug spray. So anyway, this is the Overlook Trail. Whew. Catch your breath. <sighs> We're gonna go back and get in the car and do this auto tour. It's pretty amazing though. Felt good to go up. I won't lie. Alright, heading back down. Ah, lots of birds here. And we saw a mule deer. Can't wait to see what's up the road. They do have mosquitoes. If you come here, bring spray. It is a floodplain. Even though it looks fairly dry, apparently the mosquitoes found the water. But anyway, it was very beautiful and definitely worth a drive there just to kind of, there's a lot of waterfowl you can see in there. There's a blind you can sit and look out over the water. They have a nice exhibit in there. Mm -hmm. So just bring bug spray. Yep. They they actually have it at the reception area. Yeah. You can go in and use they bug spray. They have a can of it sitting there you can squirt. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, those are the two places that we checked out. Um, 
we did find a little pond up the way that the girls enjoyed walking around. The mm -hmm. girls, the dogs that we travel with, Tara and Luna. So there's a bird over there with a yellow head. Smile. They're half husky sisters, just so right. you know. So they, that's why they need to go. <laughs> so anyway, it's called Burns Pond. And it's a beautiful little peaceful pond, and there's a trail that goes all the way around it. So we went there a couple of times and let them stretch their legs a little bit. Yeah, they, they enjoy walking through grass and high grass mm -hmm. rather than sniffing. They like to sniff. Right. Smell like that. They love to smell stuff. Yeah. But um, we do need to mention, heads up, that there is the opportunities to buy diesel or gasoline in this trek between Winnemucca, especially into Burns, is slim. So make sure that you are you're fueled up yes. before you get mm -hmm. into the area. And then going from Burns forward, um, we were headed west towards Highway 97. That was, well, Bend, Bend, Oregon. You know, right. it was, that's a lean. Another lean stretch, stretch of road. Stretch road, right. Mm -hmm. We loved our stay there. If we were going back through the area, we would definitely stay there again. Yes, we would. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, it's very nice. The people are nice. The campsites are nice. They're big, mm -hmm. they're spacious, they're level. Uh, the grass is nice for a change. And right. they also had the trees in the store. Yes. Um, like my wife alluded to earlier, it's not probably not a destination campground, but it's a good place to stop for a couple of days. Three days. It's got the sewer, so if you need to catch up on laundry mm -hmm. or something like that, which is what we like to do. Right. Um, it's a great little place to stop, and the town of Burns is there, and they got some sightseeing around you can go to. Right. There's uh, the Steen Mountains and mm -hmm. the Alfer, Alford Desert. Right. You know, nearby, there's hot springs back. Um, if you head back south, there's some hot uh, hot springs stop. Right. Um, it was too far. Uh, we didn't. If you stop on the way, it's probably better, yeah. but it's you know a little bit off a haul. I forget how many miles, but anyway, it was a good stay. We would stay there again. So we rec we would recommend that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a river that runs behind it, and um, it's called the Sylvie's River. Yeah. But it's quite overgrown and steep to get down it. So you just and mosquitoes are very heavy in that area. Yeah. So even though there's a river you can might be able to peek over and see the water but you really can't see the water just so yeah. as, you know if as you, far as the campground goes the mosquitoes were not bad at the campground unless you got out close to the river where the river is then the mosquitoes start picking up intensity right but if you're just walking around the other parts of the park or down the roads the mosquitoes are really non-existent right it wasn't bad at all yeah so so it was a very good stay yep I'm Sharon, again, with Rough Road RV Life. And I'm Gary. Click, like, subscribe. Right. We'll keep you posted on what we do. Follow the up. journey. Follow the journey. This video will be part of a playlist of our trip westward from Florida to Oregon. Mm -hmm. So all the way to the coast. And, um, of course, eventually we'll be heading back. Yes, we will. So follow along. Follow the journey. We like looking at freedom. See you on the road. Bye. Safe travels. Nice touch there, Terry. <laughs>